your host, Judy Andrews Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing a video talking about The Walking Dead. We're going to be doing a Q&A video leading up to the second half of the season. Uh, starting off with the question, will Beta survive the Whisper War? This is going to be The Walking Dead Q&A 5. Silence the Whispers. Okay, guys, so this is going to be doing another Walking Dead Q&A video for today. Uh, of course, like I said, today's Friday, so we're going to be doing our Walking Dead Q&A uh, video for today. Uh, and I think, actually, guys, uh, I think... Um no promises, but I think we're actually going to up the Q&A videos to um, uh, Tuesday and Fridays. Uh, I'm going to be doing that from now on. So uh, leave some Q&A questions for Tuesday. That's what we're going to do from now on. We're going to do uh, uh, Walking Dead Q&A videos on Tuesdays and on Fridays. So uh, I'm doing that mainly because I feel like Fridays is almost just not enough, and I feel like at least twice a week would be maybe a bit a bit better, you know, because I kind of miss doing them, and, you know, I kind of hate having it just one day a week. So at least two days a week I think is good. It's not too much. It's not, you know, not enough either. I think it's just perfect because I think with one a week, it's kind of, um, it's almost not enough. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So leave some Q&A questions video for the Walking Dead Q&A video we're going to be doing this Tuesday, uh, and then on Tuesday, leave some for Friday. So yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to be doing for now on. Uh, hopefully you guys can adjust to that, uh, that new schedule. I do have a video coming up on the channel actually pretty soon, uh, discussing the, uh, discussing the schedule for 2020. I'm going to have like a little scheduling thing for Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, uh, and Saturdays and Sundays. Like it, it's going to be a little bit of a schedule, you know? So, uh, that we kind of run by on the channel. So anyway, um, so that video will be coming out, uh, before the year ends, uh, just a little video kind of discussing the schedule and kind of the videos coming up, uh, you know, on the days and what those are going to be. Anyway, you guys will see that in a few days, but, um, I wanted to start off with this question from, uh, David McKinney, uh, who, uh, I probably said your name wrong. I'm so sorry, Dave. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I want to just kind of say for, uh, for, for David that, uh, you know, this is a very good question. You know, this one came from, uh, from David, uh, and he said that, uh, he, he, do, do I think that Beta will survive season 10 and will he survive the Whisper War or will he go on to, you know, season 11 and stuff like that? So for David, um, honestly, D Beta is one of those type of characters where, um, you know, of course, uh, I, you know, I feel like, Gamma is probably a character that I think is, l like, less safe, but the thing is, is that I don't know if they're actually going to go the route of killing off uh, Gamma and Beta both in this second half, because I do think that they're going to kill off Alpha, so, um, you're really going to kill off all three, who are you going to keep, Gamma or Beta, you know, I don't feel like killing both right now really makes that much sense, I feel like you probably should keep one of them alive, um, so you, do you keep Gamma alive or do you keep Beta alive? So uh, for me and for Ryan Hurst and just kind of how popular he is on the show, I mean, so is Samantha Morton and stuff like that, but I feel like Ryan Hurst has gotten even more attention because I feel like the people are just like, holy crap, like he is like a crazy, crazy guy, you know, and... um I mean, he almost, uh, he managed to almost, uh, you know, uh, you know, kill Daryl in that fight too. So, you know, Beta is a very strong character and definitely a character I think a lot of people, you know, just loved right away, you know, uh, and I did too. When he was introduced last year, I just, I absolutely loved it, you know, so, um, I'm going to say for Beta right now, I don't think they're going to kill him uh, in Season 10. I think Season 11 is a most likely, but they might even want to go a different direction than the comics with this one. They might actually want to keep Beta around or something. Uh, maybe not as a good guy. I don't think they would ever have that happen, be, be, you know, mainly because he cares about Alpha, and I'm sure that somebody will end up killing Alpha at some point. Uh, if you read the comics, you know, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And I'm sure he's going to be pissed off at that, you know, specific character. But, um... You know, I don't know. I just don't see Beta dying this year. I don't see us coming back in February and seeing, you know, Beta just getting killed by someone. Uh, I just see him as such a tough character that it's going to be really difficult for somebody to really take him down and really fight him. The the only character I think that could ever have a chance of taking down Beta would be somebody like Negan or something. Because, you know, if you have Negan and, you know, he has Lucille or something, you know, and Beta has his two knives and stuff like that, you know, you might see some kind of equal match. But even that, like, that's like the closest fight I think we would get. But, well, then again, Daryl's pretty crafty, too. But Daryl narrowly got out of that, you know? So, I don't know. Um, for right now, I'm going to say beta safe uh, until proven otherwise. But I don't see myself being proven otherwise until at least season 11, to be honest. So, for David McKinney, yeah, I think beta is probably safe right now. But thank you very much for the question. 
Next question comes from uh, Negan's Mayo Sandwiches. So yeah, I like that title. That's that or that name. That's really really cool. Uh, and uh, he said, uh, I'm assuming it's he. Uh, he says that. Um, do you think that Negan? So this this is definitely a big question. Do you think that Negan will kill Alpha and fight Beta? So uh, you know for for killing Alpha or something like that. Well, yeah, if Negan kills Alpha. He's going to have to deal with Beta, that's for sure. And I'm not really going to get into any kind of spoilers. You know, I don't want to go that far. But I'm just going to say that I think Negan's the perfect choice to, for killing Alpha. Either way, you know, I don't care. I, I don't... I love the whole thing with her and Alpha, and yeah, or uh, Carol and Alpha, and kind of, you know, that, uh, you know, the, 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 the built-up type fighting they have between the two. But, but I just don't see Carol killing Alpha. Like, I just don't see it. Like, I know a lot of people want that to happen. I would be... I wouldn't be against it, but... I just love that idea of seeing that on, on the on the big screen. I just I I, I just I want to see that. I want to see that, and I think we need that. And in terms of the beta versus uh, Negan thing, we gotta see that. I mean, Negan's in the Whisper camp. You're telling me that he's not gonna get a chance to go against Beta or fight Beta, especially if he does actually end up killing Alpha. Yeah, I think we'll we'll see both of those for uh, ne uh, Negan's mayo sandwiches. Uh, so thank you very much for the question. Next question comes from Brian Archam, who says, uh, do you think, uh, so, uh, what do you think happened to Mikey? Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's a big question. So, I know maybe for some people you don't remember, uh, who Mikey is. I actually had to remember this myself. It's the kid that Nicholas was talking about, uh, in season six of The Walking Dead, I believe, right? Um... That's just going off memory right now. Uh, the kid that, you know, he kind of talked about quite a bit on going on runs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, whatever happened to him? Well, you know, I don't know, honestly. That's that's one of my big questions, too. Uh, I You know, I've had that question for a long time. And like Brian Archer, he says this, too. Uh, I've had that question for, you know, four years. And, yeah, it's true. I, at this point, I don't think we'll get an answer to that, if I'm just being honest. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I just, you know... It doesn't make sense for them to really, you know, kind of incorporate that into this the story now. So, unfortunately, Brian, I think... Uh, Sorry, man, but I don't know if we're going to get an answer to that, to be honest, because, you know, it's just so far out now. But, yeah, honestly, for Mikey, that's a good question. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in that. I would like to get a, an answer, but I just don't know if we ever will. You know, Nicholas has killed off such a long time ago, and that was kind of his thing. So, I don't know. Um... And honestly, I do not miss Nicholas at all. So I'm totally fine with no answer and not having Nicholas in the show instead of still having Nicholas in the show and maybe getting some kind of answer to that. I'm good. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah, I don't miss Nicholas at all, if you couldn't tell. So uh, I don't think anybody does. I mean, Nicholas, oh, I hated him. But anyway, I don't know why this turned into a Nicholas, I hate Nicholas thing, but I just hate Nicholas. So uh, anyway, but yeah, for Brian Archer, no, I don't think we'll see uh, Mikey. I, I, the whole Mikey thing, I just don't. I think it's um, it, it's too kind of like... It, it, it's too far out now. It wouldn't make too. It wouldn't. It wouldn't make sense to kind of get an answer for that now. But uh, yeah, I, I get that's probably frustrating to be honest. So yeah, thank you very much for the question, Brian Archer. I'm going to answer one more from you as well. And the last one from today comes from uh, also comes from Brian Archer, who says uh, Q and A. Uh, if you were uh, so, if you were Scott Gimple, uh, I know weird. He says, uh, how would you make the movies? Question mark. So. <sighs> You know, th this is a question I definitely want to go into for the last one. I think this is a good question to go in for the last, uh, the last uh, question for today. Honestly, if I was Scott Gimple, first of all, I think I would, um, I would keep Carl alive and this and that. But if you're asking just for the movies, you know, I mean, honestly, for the movies, sorry, but I had to mention it. Um, you know, when it comes to the movies. My biggest problem writing the movies is trying to find a good reason why Rick hasn't come back yet. You know, that's something. I think I would have done an okay job, you know, I think I would have done an okay job with the movies, but then again, that would be the one thing I'm struggling with. Uh, the entire time writing that movie, I'd be like, okay, what's the reason why Rick hasn't come back yet? Because, honestly, it's it's just, it's it's really, it's a tough one. The only one to me that makes sense is that if he doesn't, if Rick doesn't remember who he is, and he's like, well, I'm not going to go back to my family, I don't even, you know, really technically know who they are anymore, so... Like, Michonne, Judith, who's that? You know, like, that type of deal. And that'd be sad to see, but at least that would make sense. Like, because aside from that, I'm just like, I, I really don't know what I would do. Like, I'm sorry, but if, if Scott Gimple comes up with a reason, it's probably, whatever reason Scott Gimple comes up with for why, why Rick hasn't come back yet, either way, it's stupid. So, it, it's, it's going to be a stupid reason. And that's not even Scott Gimple's fault. I'll stick up for him in this one. There's really almost no way of having, um, you know... A, a good reason why Rick hasn't come back yet. It, it's just impossible. But, um, you know, because just contracts, that's just messed the whole thing up. Contracts and Andrew Link, you know, that's why all this this movie thing happened to begin with, you know, because otherwise he would have just stayed in the regular series and they probably would have just done something else. But, um, 
I don't know. I just think right now for writing the movies, uh, I would really explain what the CRM is, and I would have ha I would have uh, the audience find out about the CRM through the eyes of Rick, you know, uh, and that type of deal. Now, I might make a video, maybe I go into more detail, but just generally, just to say, just to answer your question quickly, Brian, um, the, my biggest problem would be trying to find a reason why Rick hasn't come back yet, and I'm sorry, but that, I, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna hear, sit here and deny it. I'd be sitting there clueless because I'd be like, okay, what's the reason? Like, that'd be the only reason if Rick doesn't remember who he is, but it's like, do you really want to go that route? you know maybe you don't maybe you still want you know rick to know who he is and stuff like that for the movie to still be epic and not just sad the whole time you know so i don't know um i'm just saying right now like honestly we, we need to see a good reason and honestly if if they can't come up with a good reason why rick hasn't gone back to see his family i'm sorry but i'm never i'm never gonna blame them and mark my words i will never blame them for a stupid reason why rick hasn't ever come back because what what can you do when you're writing it like honestly if they come up with a reason that's just like perfect i'm gonna be surprised to be honest uh and maybe i'll forgive scott campbell a little bit you know but, but but just a little bit so um anyway guys write your comments in the comment section below i really enjoyed this q a with you guys if you want to participate in the walking dead q a videos all you gotta do is write q a before your question and write that and of course uh walking dead q a uh, video on tuesdays and fridays for now on guys so this tuesday we're gonna do a walking dead q a video so write some i'm gonna answer them on tuesday so a little bit sooner you guys don't have to wait a week for me to answer your questions um and yeah, Tuesdays and then, you know, Fridays. That's what we'll do. So anyway, guys, I really enjoyed this Q&A video with you guys. Thank you guys, everybody that participated for this one and, you know, kind of the big question. Uh, you know, will Beta survive the Whisper War? That's really the big one I want to ask you guys. You guys see Beta dying right now. Uh, you know, how would you do the Rick Grimes movies if you were writing it? You guys, you know, have some creative ideas. I know a lot of you guys do. So definitely any, uh, any uh, kind of thing, any reasons why Rick wouldn't come back if you were writing it? If you were like, okay, you know, somebody talked to you and, and, and you know, like you decide why rick hasn't come back go you got two days to write me that you know i i don't know like you know i'd be like okay so i got some thinking to do that's for sure um and yeah uh you know the mikey question as well of uh, nicholas and stuff i uh, you know definitely want to you know you guys uh, answer that as well and just a bunch of other stuff like that so anyway guys write your comments in the co uh, comment section below and of course if you're new here click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my walking dead videos uh, i will be doing a 2019 year review uh either tomorrow uh, or not tomorrow because i do my uh, character spotlight on sunday we're gonna do a 2019 year review on sunday we'll sit down and you know we'll reflect on 2019 because I met a lot of you guys this year. There's a lot of you guys that have been here, you know, for a couple years, but there's a lot of you guys I met this year as well. So, you know, that's definitely, so 2019 is a big year, for, you know, for the channel for sure, because there's a lot of you guys that I, I just met this year, uh, while, you know, others I've known, you know, a little bit longer. But anyway, um, really cool stuff, guys, and uh, I just want to say, you know, thank you uh, so much for watching this video, of course. Uh, Q&A video on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. Holy crap, can't talk today. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, anyway, catch you guys really soon. Peace out.